going on guys? How's it going? Uh, man, let's see what this angle looks like. You know what? I'm not really feeling this angle. I'm not really feeling this angle. Let's try something else. I'm not really feeling this angle either. Hang on, let's try something else. All right, this angle is usually pretty cool. Hey, what's going on guys? Oh, I'm a little crooked. Hang on, hang on. No. What about over here? Okay, I love this angle. I do love this angle. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, man, this isn't doing it for me. Let me think. I really like this angle. I really like a lot of these angles, but the only problem is I don't have like a, I can't set the camera behind my desk, so I can't like put my arms on it. I can't put any products on it while I'm talking. Let's think, what do we do? You hit up Ikea. You can get some pretty cheap desks there. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's do it. So you guys might know this from one of my previous videos, but this desk right here is just an IKEA tabletop or desktop. So yeah, here's the uh, the IKEA tabletop that I think was 35 bucks, maybe 40, um, and then these sawhorse type style legs I think are like 15 dollars each. So you can essentially get an entire desk that's easily foldable and easily to put back away for a really good price. And so that's what I have for my second desk right now. And then you have like I think they're called Alex drawers from IKEA. They're like 100 bucks each. Here's my thinking. I've actually been thinking about having some sort of a desk that I can take down and put up easily that I can kind of put in the middle of the office uh, just in case I want to do something where I'm talking with a product or be able to rest my arms while I'm talking. So my thought right now is to go get another one of these IKEA tabletops that are like, I think they're 35 bucks, something like that. A couple of the cheap leg stands and then that way um, I don't have to attach any of it. I can actually just like take it apart, put it in my closet, and then take it out whenever I want to use it. So uh, yeah, let's go get ourselves a table and make a little Ikea trip. Let's see what we get into. Let's roll. Yeah, maybe we need a little drink though before we get out of here. Here, let's see what we got in here. What do we got? Uh, I'm feeling kind of blue. I'm feeling blue today. Let's go a little blue 3D action. So good. All right. Let's roll. I am personally not quite ready for snow yet. Although I guess it is, today's February 1st and it's the first time it's really like snowed. It's snowed a little bit, but it hasn't been too snow yet. Look, I already got snow on the camera. All right, let's go inside. Essentially, I was gonna get something like this with the two sawhorses. This tabletop's actually kind of nice. It's kind of like my second table. It's a little bit more expensive than the other ones, so maybe, maybe, we'll look. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Here at Ikea, there's literally like a bunch of tabletops as well as table legs that you can like put stuff together with. So you can get tabletops for as cheap as $14. So there's a bunch of different colors, sizes, everything like that. Then you can get single legs or these like sawhorse type legs that I was talking about, which I will probably be going with. The current black one I have that my MacBook is on is this one right here. I believe it's the $30 black one. Uh, so I was thinking about getting a second one like that. But I don't know. I kind of like this, this color. Decisions, decisions. One thing I love about Ikea too is like, you can get so many cool ideas for your, whatever it is, your living room, your home office. It's just sweet, you can get so many different ideas. Upstairs it said they were sold out of these, but they have the saw horses that are 15 bucks in black, just like my other ones, so. We're getting that, and then I'm actually getting a couple options for a tabletop. We'll talk about that more once we get back to the office. It's packed in here. We'll get the stuff, and then we're out of here. Let's go. Okay, made it back home. Here's what's going on. That is kind of like the butcher block looking table. I think I might replace my MacBook desk with that if it fits. Then I also have, this is the other, like the small black one. It's like this size. 
So, um, cause I think the desk that I want to be out in the middle of the room or be able to easily be out in the middle of the room, I want it to be very small. So it's not taking up a bunch of room. And I've been thinking about replacing this desk with something a little bit better. So I don't know, we'll see what this looks like. I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering. So let's see, let's see what it looks like. Yo, this looks so much better. So much better, this is sick, sick. All right, what's up guys? So it is now the next day. As you guys can tell, I got a fresh haircut. Uh, I was gonna try to make it look like it was the same day, but uh, I can't, because my hair is different now. But last night I worked on the office some, so let me fill you in on what I was doing. Okay, so last night, here's what I got into. When I was at Ikea, I purchased two tabletops. Um, I actually bought this one. And then I also bought this small one that I'm gonna use for the floating desk in uh, around the office so I can do some sit down talks and everything like that. So I actually got this, it's actually a really nice tabletop. Uh, I've shown you guys before, but it is uh, kind of like a butcher block style. It's actually very heavy, uh, really high quality. I'm actually really impressed. I think you can stain this. I haven't yet, uh, I might do that, but I love the way this looks. Uh, super clean and it's just definitely higher quality looking and this uh, those cheap black tabletops kind of were annoying to use a mouse with and everything so I'm really happy with how this is I did some cable management so things look a little bit better down here and yeah I'm just really excited about how this looks and yeah I'm pretty excited about how the offices come together. I know I keep saying this, but it's actually almost done. Um, I ordered the final piece that's up here. It was supposed to come yesterday, but actually didn't. So uh, I actually have to go to LA this week for work. So by the time I get back, it should be done. And once we get that final piece, we're doing the official tour of this office where I kind of walk you guys through everything that's actually in here, why I did everything the way that I did, and we'll kind of have an in-depth video talking about the entire office. So I think that'll be kind of a fun video to kind of finish this series off with. The last thing I wanna show you guys in this is, I want to set this desk up and kind of show you guys what I was thinking for what that's gonna look like. All right, cool. So this is kind of this other set that I was kind of thinking about. So this isn't dialed in perfectly, but just so you guys like an example of what I'm talking about here. So. The nice part about having kind of like a desk that I'd have the camera behind that I don't have the luxury of with those two desks because there's no space behind them is, you know, if maybe if I'm talking about a certain product, you know, maybe a camera or maybe I want to do some unboxings or things like that. Uh, and I actually really like having an angle where it's a little bit wider. You see a top, you can have like a MacBook or a laptop or something here just to show off a little more depth. Uh, and that way I can kind of talk to you guys about certain things and be able to actually physically show you in front of me as well. If you guys are curious right now, um, I have the EOS R on a tripod here. I actually have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on a boom arm above the camera, so the mic is actually right here. And then I have the Aperture 120D up here that is about at, I think it's at like 60% right now. Um, and if you guys would be interested in kind of like an in-depth video on what my setup is and what it looks like. I think that's something I kind of want to do, so be on the lookout for that as well. I kind of just wanted to show you kind of these final steps I have on setting up this office space, just getting it to be kind of the perfect creative space for me. And kind of like what I was talking about is I think it's really important when you have a space to figure out a lot of different uses that you can have for the space. Um, you know, instead of just having one angle that you use, maybe just get creative with it and think of all these different types of things you can have. Uh, I have about four sit down angles that I can have that I think are really nice looking, very professional, and just kind of give the video just a variety. Cause you know, if you do the same thing every single time, people might get a little bored or it might get a little stale. So think of ways to try to switch it up, get creative with it. And one more thing to keep in mind when you're trying to find different angles in your office. Try out some different focal lengths because it can really change the vibe of the shot. Uh, like right now we are at uh, about like a 24, I would say. So, you know, if you, this is way at 16, so you can tell this is totally different vibe here. You can see the mic and everything. And then this is all the way in at 35. So this is a little too tight for this angle, but uh, you know, switch it up and see what you can make work with it. So yeah, that's really gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of just seeing me put the final touches on this office space. Like I said, soon we're gonna have that final piece up here and then the full tour is gonna be coming, so be on the lookout for that. But with all that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And yeah, 
see you guys in the next video. Peace. In the comments below, let me know if you guys want to know anything specific about my office or why I did something a certain way. Cause like I said, that studio tour is coming. So uh, if there's anything specific you guys want to know, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to kind of touch on it and uh, discuss it. Smash that thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Peace.